Hello, and welcome back to Breath of the Wild. My name is Wolverine, and I will remember the name of this game eventually. Previously, we finished that trial, and we were trying to find our way into the desert. Now, we seem to have reached an impassable geological feature known as a cliff. Now, this person appears to be attacking a very burnt stake. Hi. Huh? Who are you? Who are you? <coughs> Hey, my name's Moza. I'm trying to perfect my ultimate dish, so I'm training in isolation right now. I followed your smoke signal. Oh, you mean the smoke? Not a smoke signal. As you can plainly see, I'm in the middle of cooking. It's burning. Quite badly, I might add. <coughs> I'm burning it? So then, yes, you're saying I've messed it up. I see. So, for some reason, no matter how hard I try to cook something wonderful, it always turns out badly. I thought of this ultimate recipe myself too. Why is this happening? Teach me the recipe. Oh, oh I'd love to. I don't mind at all. I'm sure you'll be able to cook something really tasty. I mean, probably. I have recipes for a lavish meat dish, an ancient meat dish, and an ultimate survival dish. Which will you learn? Ultimate survival. <coughs> <laughs> sure thing. I'll happily teach you the recipe for my ultimate survival dish. First, you'll have to defeat a monster. After that, just find yourself a cooking pot and toss in tons of monster parts. That sounds disgusting. Uh. In order to survive in the wild, you've got to be willing to eat anything. That's the idea behind my ultimate survival dish. I may end up with nothing to eat but dubious food, but it won't achieve my goal. I won't achieve my goal unless I make some sacrifices. I don't see what's so dubious about using monster parts, though. Even when I use the ingredients... I'm certain will be perfect. There are lots of times I still mess up. Cooking is complicated. Do you want to hear another recipe? Not from you. Oh, it's too bad. It's a pretty special recipe too. Moza, you're an odd person. And I hope you don't turn and disappear between this game and the next. Right. I feel like we're going to follow this cliff all the way around to the actual place he's supposed to go into the uh, Gerudo Desert. But hey-ho. I like this, just floating slightly above the ground. It's somewhat odd. <laughs> yeah, there's no way I'm climbing up that. I don't think. Mm, there's a stop off there, maybe. Oh, wolf. Wolf spotted me. Oh no, it's coyote. <laughs> Not that it makes much difference. Either way, they're going to try and eat me if I don't convince them otherwise. Oh, didn't mean to kill you both. But I will take your meat. I'm assuming the survivor has... Yeah, he's run off. Good. I could possibly get up there, actually. I'm going to give it a go. I've done dumber things. Did I remember to press record? Yes, I did. I don't get a notification on screen when I press the record button. I have to minimise the view. I might even be able to get a little respite here, actually. Excellent! And we're out of the sun. That's nice. Tempting, but no game. I'm not going to risk losing some stamina for a purple mushroom I might never actually cook. We may have actually found our way inside. That's the thing about this game. No area is necessarily impenetrable if you're determined enough and you have the resources. You can literally go straight to Hyrule Castle on day one if you feel like it. You'll probably be killed, but you could. You don't have to do all this stuff for the Divine Beasts and Shrines and the Master Sword. It's just a very, very bad idea not to. Besides, you never get to see places like this. We're not in Utah. I'm sure of it. Yeah, I can see that lady's um, food burning <laughs> from miles away. Oh, my stamina. We're below half and it feels like it's going away much more quickly. Down to a quarter now. I think we might be able to get a bit more. Yep, respite. Fantastic. Do love a complicated geological feature, me. 
Lovely weather for climbing too. It's not raining. See that place over there? There's no way to climb to it. Even with your f maximum stamina, you couldn't possibly climb to it. But the temptation to go over there is so very strong, even though there appears to be no reason why you ever would. That's what this game's all about. Can I go there? How do I do it? What would be the reward? Getting to say you've done it for a start. <laughs> looks like water runs down here when it's raining. Oh, looks like the easiest way up if water thinks it's the easiest way down. Might be pushing my stamina wheel to the limit, but I should be able to do it. Oh, it's raining outside in real life. I don't even notice. Huh. We are wearing an odd assortment of things, aren't we? Armour of the water-dwelling Zora people. Some trousers I bought. And weapons and shields from various different species. Yep. Oh, knackering. Oh, notice that? Fog breath. I mean, he's getting cold. I don't have any warm weather gear. Alright, that should keep us on the positive side of not freezing to death. May have to eat something, though. I haven't had an opportunity to cook anything for a while, and I've not seen... Well, there is one shrine, but it would mean going back downstairs again. I'll see if I can proceed without making any more altitude, which is where the low temperatures are coming from. A little bit of frost on the ground. Right, this is where I thought I saw a way through, but not a way up. Another one of those flowers. Something Seraphina? Silent? I don't know. What's that? Oh no. Guardians. I'd quite forgotten about them. And wolves. And they've seen me. And my incredibly expensive trident is getting worn out. You gonna run off? Nope. I think I cornered you. I need to cook all this stuff. It doesn't spoil, but I just feel like it's the responsible thing to do. The other one appears to have run off a cliff, which is under the not my problem variety. Now, is this a guardian in the sense that it's completely dead, or is it a guardian in the sense that it's going to notice me approach and shoot me? Quite dead. Of an ancient spring. Are you all by yourself, mate, or are there heaps of you around here? I'm not seeing any others. Okay, Grand, we can carry on. Because there's not much in the way of cover around here, so if one spots me, I can't really do much about it. Well, it looks like we are going to get to the desert today. Excellent. Whee! Oh, there was one. Just saw the top of his head. There's another one. Pretty sure it's in there. Yep. 100 years of rusting in the desert will do that to a machine. Another coyote there. He's not spotted me yet. Good. Trying to make my mind up whether these are bits of random sandstone or bits of buildings. Ooh. There's a desert, alright. Okay, fantastic. Ooh. One of those maze things as well. Oh no. There's a guardian. A lively one at that. They creep me out. I'm not going to take that on today. Some ruins out there. A shrine. 
remember that for later. And the Divine Beast. That's moving surprisingly rapidly. And causing quite a sandstorm at the same time. Let's avoid that like the plague. <laughs> if we go head on into that thing, I guarantee you we'll get killed. I mean, just look at the size of it. It could kill us without even noticing. Huh? Look at that. Two Seeker Towers quite close together. I bet it would be very difficult to get to both, though. Usually is. Well, you could probably get to the first one and then just fly to the second one if you had enough stamina. Okay. If memory serves, these um, mazes usually contain at least one shrine, so be worth paying it a visit. Good. See if we can't spot it from the air and skip most of the uh, maze running, as it were. <clears throat> I don't see nothing. Oh, there it is. What's that? Something over there. White Moblin. No, White Mogoblin. Either way, avoid. He will definitely kill me with one shot. Okay. Now, the shrine is underneath that grid, which means the entrance to it is underground. Oh, there's some of that slime. I forgot about that stuff. That's nasty. That's going to make navigating this place difficult. Nothing else for it. I'm just going to have to go in. <coughs> Although that seems like a stupid place to go because there's slime on both ends of it. Well, I think you can disperse the slime if it's got one of those eyeballs in it. Yeah, they're just he's just standing over there. He can't actually reach me from here. He could probably throw a rock at me though. You alright, pal? Yeah, you're not jumping over that. Hi. Whoop. Yep, that would have hurt quite a lot. Right, I'm going. To you who sets foot here, my blessing awaits you at the labyrinth's end. Are you going to send me back to the start? Shrine quest, the desert labyrinth. Ooh, a chest. <coughs> Gerudo scimitar. Curved sword. Hang on. There's a way to drop a sword without opening the menu. Okay, the trident's on its way out. I know it's a rare weapon and all that, but I can always get another one. Even though it's a unique weapon, you can, there you go, the game saved as soon as it was destroyed. You can get another one made. Make of that what you will. It's just the um, perishable weapon things is built into everything in the game. <coughs> right. What's that? Well, that didn't work at all. Big sword. Might want that big sword. Probably have to dump something else for it, but still worth it. Big swords are cool. I'm sure I had a, a hole. Yeah, that can go. Golden Claymore. Only the most talented Gerudo sword fighters carry this two-handed sword. It's actually much lighter than it appears. Surprisingly easy to wield. Excellent. That is a ridiculous weapon and I love it. <coughs> okay, so it hasn't been a total waste. We've got two much better weapons than the ones we had. Well, I mean... 
At least they're not crumbling in our hands. <coughs> right, what else have we got? Trapped. Oh no, there's a side passage. It's okay. Yeah, I can't do anything about that ooze. Okay, we're underground. That's good. I think. I don't have a minimap either, which is incredibly unhelpful. What's in here? It's... Money. Quite a lot of money, in fact. Fantastic. And nothing else. Okay, good. I think I know where I am on the map. Roughly. Okay, let's keep going. Need to find our way down. Not having a minimap is possibly a big disadvantage right now. But hey ho. We can still prevail if we persist. We have to draw a paper map, not done that for a while. Aha! Underground. Aha! Shrine! Excellent! That wasn't di difficult. And it's the right shrine, it's not just some other shrine. Fantastic. Labyrinth indeed. Right. Is the prize just a prize? Or is there a puzzle as well? Because you do like doing that game. Paraglider. With the paraglider, you can glide down from high places with ease. Use our stick to scope out a safe space to land. Spot to land. <coughs> oh, there's water. Oh, the water isn't part of a puzzle. Good. Yes, I proved my worth. Thank you very much. <coughs> Give me things. Such as... Ooh! Barbarian Arbor, favoured by one ancient warlike tribe from the Farron region. The war paint bolsters your fighting spirit and raises your attack power. Check that out. Huh, I've painted my chest. Uh, okay, it's... I feel like this is female armour, but we're wearing it nonetheless, Link, because... In many people's opinion, you kind of straddle the uh, distinctive line there. Yes. Okay. Right, good. We've got some surprisingly revealing armour that doesn't actually offer that much protection, but it has... No, it doesn't offer that much protection at all. <laughs> okay. But it means you hit harder for some reason. Which isn't a bad thing, I suppose. Give orb. Yes, thank you. Well, that's four. Cheers, bye. I oh, know, I'm going to get back out of the labyrinth now. I kind of jumped in. I don't know the way out. <laughs> the way out is flying. Jump slash. Perform a jump slash by pressing Y after jumping or while in the air. The shot we've created when you... Oh. Oh, there's a ladder. Was that there before? I didn't spot it, but then again, I wasn't looking for it. Yep. Grand. Yes, that ladder wasn't there before, and the grid is gone, so we have an easy way out. Now, just hope I don't get killed by those silver goblins, because... They can do that quite easily. Right, good. Fantastic. Labyrinth dealt with. Now, we want to see the Gerudo people. Although we have taken completely the wrong entrance, so... Eh, wing it, we'll be fine. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Sure, it's this way. Yeah, that's where we came from. And this is where we're headed. Some big pillars out there. 
Uh, that's the thing to remember about the desert. It gets mighty, mighty cold at night. Like, you wouldn't believe how cold it gets. Okay. What have we got here? Is this the proper way in and I'm just kind of running over the top of it? I think it could be, you know. There's that shrine again that we marked earlier. What's that? Some kind of pillars? No, I don't think this is the proper way in. This is just a valley. Yep. Okay, I'm looking for another valley. Ooh! Korok Shrine thing. Puzzle. That should distract me for a moment. Oh, come on. Grab that, and... No, oh, it's upside down. Okay, I wasn't expecting it to drop like a stone, but whatever. Delicately place that on top there. I think that's the pattern. There you go. That's what I wanted. Give me a seed, you little twig. Mm -hmm. Now you're trapped here for all eternity. Bye. Ooh, look at all that stuff. Hmm. I feel like staying above the sand is a good idea. I don't watch Tremors too much as I was growing up. Played enough Zelda games where creatures just pop up out of the sand and eat you. To know not to go on the sand unless you have no other choice. Right, so we can't actually see the Gerudo settlement from out here. But we should be able to find the path we carry on heading this way along the cliff to the north east corner of the desert. It has been quite some time since I've been here. Whee! Good. Oh, some kind of a structure head. Oh, these are statues. Oh, I remember these. They're kind of a big deal, but not just yet. Nope. Massive great swords. If that's not a puzzle, I don't know what is, but I'm pretty sure it's for later. We could solve it now, but we wouldn't know why we'd have done it. It's not a shrine puzzle, per se, I don't think. It has something to do with the main quest. So I'm going to ignore it for now. And we're going on the sand. This isn't a bad idea. It's not a bad idea, and it's not going to get us killed, I'm pretty sure. Oh, yeah, we're walking through sand, of course. We're slowing down. Ooh, a chest. Buried in the sand. I don't have a shovel, but I do have this crazy magnet device. Chest containing. More money. Fantastic. Look at me, eh? <coughs> it's an awfully big skeleton. Oh, wow, you can see the Divine Beast from out here. And you can hear it, too. That's quite alarming. I don't want to be near that, if I can help it. Right, there's a structure there. There's a ladder attached to it. And there's a, a 
appears to be a oasis. Mate, I can clearly see you there. I'm just going to kill you. Yep. Yeah. Oh, he's got a glowing nose. That's an interesting trick. Right, weapon with a lot of reach. I've thrown them away. Good. Boomerang. Ah. Lost my weapon. Can't run very fast. Where did my weapon go? Oh, wow, it flew really far. Is that it? No, I think that's just a... Oh no, that's my weapon. Fantastic. Right, um... Ow. Oh yeah, that's recharged. Ow! It's a hell of a superpower. Oh, come on, I booped you on the snoop there. <laughs> on your six. There you go. Oh, I don't have any room for weapons. Who? Well, this one's pretty rubbish. That can go. <coughs> Yellow Lysopolis, they're electric. Yeah, I figured that part out myself. <coughs> okay. Well, we're in the desert. We can see a... an oasis of sorts. So let's head there, I suppose. How fast can I run in this? Not very. Wait, no, I'm wearing winter gear. This is madness. Although the temperature seems temperate. Hmm. I'm going to switch down to this old shirt. It looks thinner. And I'm going to put away my shields and weapons. Let's keep the bow handy just in case. This looks like a more reasonable attire for the weather. That bird just vanished. <coughs> What's that? Looks like a watermelon. Hydromelon, same thing. Looks pretty tasty. Okay, so so far the oasis doesn't appear to be a mirage, which is good. Wow, that divine beast is making quite a rocket out there. Imagine trying to sleep in all this. Yes, the oasis thing still seems to be real. Whoa! Okay. One big crazy robot. Lightning. Okay. Wow, that was alarming. Apparently, being stood close to it wasn't the thing. It was just reaching this point in the desert. Ooh, is that a Goron? Oh, Goron pack pack when I see one. K. 
Cara Cara Bazaar. Hmm. Hello, my rock eating friend. <coughs> I'm watching the sandstorm. Want to join me? Sandstorm? Sandstorms are pretty common out in the desert. If you can't get caught in one, you'll get lost for sure. Oh, yes. But I hear that sandstorm over there will die down for a few hours each day, clearing a path. I want to visit that huge tower, but the sandstorm is in the way, so I'll just sit here and wait for it to die down. Worth knowing that, thank you very much. Is that Beetle? Beetle, good to see you. How are you doing, mate? Hey, you're a great customer, and since today is Customer Appreciation Day, I want you to have this. Ancient arrow, created using ancient technology. To be struck with one is to be consigned to oblivion in an instant. It deals devastating damage even against guardians. Wow, cheers. This works. This even works on those guardian things, it's amazing. I hear it works best if you hit the guardians in the eye with it. This old guy named Robbie gave it to me. To find him, go way north past Zora's Domain, all the way to Akala, Akala Ancient Tech Lab. Old Robbie makes a bunch of other weird weapons and clothes and stuff. I guess he's what you call a mad scientist, which is kind of cool, but also terrifying. If you want strong weapons and stuff, you should go see him. Anyway, back to business. What are you looking for? Are you selling? Do you want any of these bugs? What would you like to sell? Uh, he specifically collects beetles and pays a high price for them. I have collected no beetles. That's a shame. Wait, can I sell him food? I can. Huh. Interesting. Oh, it's not worth that much. I don't actually need any money. What have you... What's on sale today, mate? Arrows. We have 15 in inventory. Done. To restock on them. 120 rupees. Well, there we go. Right. I don't think I need any of these other things. Now I'm good. Cheers, mate. Enjoy the weather. Right. I feel the first thing in... Order is to go for a swim. This is much better. Fantastic. Hello, mate. Okay, good morning. Though it's Savota in Gerudo, isn't it? But before I say any more, have we met before? I came here from Rito Village. I've not been there. Not in this playthrough. Yes, Rito Village, far to the north of here. It's a modest village on the Tabantha frontier. I had a great plan, you know. I left Rito Village to try and earn some money out in the world. But it's so incredibly hot here during the day. It's been tough to work up the will to go any further. I would like to see what Gerudo Town looks like, even if I can't go inside. It's just so hot. I hear there's an elixir that can help beat the heat. It's made from insects with cooling effects and monster parts. But they don't seem to be selling the Alexa anywhere. I've heard insects with cooling effects live in the cold parts of the Grudo Highlands, uh. but, well, with the monsters there are rough, to say the least, so I'm not having a lot of success getting myself motivated. An ice guy. Do I have to make him a potion, or what? I don't have time. Wow, we are way over the time. It's been an episode. We reached this lovely oasis out in the desert. We are truly in the desert, which is where we wanted to go, and we can investigate the divine beast. Oh. They don't drown first. If you have been, thank you for watching. I've been Wolverine. This has been Breath of the Wild. Tassibai. Bye.